Hey guys, welcome to Track and KY. Chuck here with you today, and uh, we've been pouring a lot of jig heads, and uh, for everything from crappie all the way up to smallmouth and stripers and hybrids and so on. But I was just going to show you guys a little bit what we've been doing, and if you guys powder dip out there, uh, you know that powder paint can be very expensive, but uh, we found some very cheap that is um, a really good paint and will last a long time you get like 16 ounces of this uh, paint so stay tuned for that but for right now I'm gonna show you a little bit what we're doing and what we've got done so far so stay tuned okay guys right here are some that we've already poured we put them in little baggies like this right here and we just write like eighth ounce on them and stuff and quarter ounce of a variety of different jigs that's going to be going in the little box right here to take out on the fishing trip uh, here's some dipped ones and put some glitter on them uh, all of this has been done like the chartreuse and stuff with uh, fingernail polish and right over here here is some bass jigs that Randy's been working on he's got the weed guard in them right now they've been powder dipped he's gonna be putting the skirts on these and we'll come right over here here's some that I've dipped so far and they're turning out pretty good and right over here is a bunch that we are actually working on right now you can see how many different jig heads how many different shapes that we've got that we're working on here bass jigs uh, gonna have skirts on right there's a little hole to put the weed guard in some striper hybrid jigs right here and then right over here yep that's the lead pot right there along with a spit bottle awesome outfit right there and here's some more little ones that I just poured a few minutes ago eighth ounce be awesome for tight lining also that's what we use in the river with uh, like zoom flutes and little four inch lizards really good but let's uh, powder dip I'll show you guys the powder dip that we use and so stay tuned okay guys the powder dip I was wanting to show you all this is the pro tech right here as you can see this right here for two ounces will run you anywhere between six and nine bucks depending on where you're getting it this is a brown right here it's really good powder paint don't get me wrong and we do use it but uh, we came across this right here at Harvard Freight if I can get that turned around the right way there we go this is white uh, like we've been using and it comes in 16 ounces which that bottle we've poured a lot out into this uh, washed out peanut butter jar here got a bigger neck on it for uh, dipping with but we got this for five bucks at Harbor Freight uh, online uh, it's about six something it comes in a variety of different colors and uh, this is like 16 ounces 16 ounces for five something or you can get two ounces for six to nine bucks you know you choose which one to go with but this goes on great it goes on just like the um, uh, pro tech right here and I'll demonstrate and show you all a couple of jigs so stay tuned for that okay guys all we got right here is a heat gun I w we've got it in our vise right here we just turn it on uh, medium or high but be careful when you're uh, using this because the lead heads they will melt they'll melt right off of it if you hold it on too long uh, the trick that I found when you're uh, heating it up it will turn a real shiny color as soon as I know these are shiny right now but they'll go almost a wet color when they do that you just dip it in the powder dip and then you just uh, tap it off and then you just hang it on the rack like right here and it takes very few seconds for that to dry and harden and you're ready to start painting them so we're going to powder dip a couple right here and um, let's check it out and see how good it does okay guys I'm kind of a one man army here there's the heat gun going here's the jig head that we just poured and um, I'm going to heat this up right here just till it turns 
kind of a wet color. It doesn't take long at all. And then all I'll do is come over here, dip them in, knock them out, and there you go. We'll just bring them over here and let him dry. Okay, guys, we'll do one more right here. All you do is just heat him up. He gets that wet look about him. And we'll just bring him over here, dip them in, knock the excess off, and there you go. Okay, guys, here's one that we uh, dipped just a few minutes ago. As you can see, it's it's got a good solid uh, coat on it right there. And I'm going to show you guys uh, how we just paint them. Uh, this is just uh, chartreuse uh, green looking uh, fingernail polish. You always want a white base coat uh, before you use this or to just look like a metallic color. And you just go ahead and paint it on. And what I usually do, I'll use a uh, hardener after they get done. Uh, you really don't have to, but I do sometimes to um, give it that extra, you know, uh, strength uh, when it's hitting the rocks and stuff on the bottom to keep the paint from chipping. But you just go over it with a fingernail polish. And there you go. You got a chartreuse jig head. It's ready to go. Put you a nice big curly tail on that. Striper, walleye, uh, whatever you may be fishing for. But yeah, guys, uh, you need to check this out. Even if you don't pour your own jig heads, you know, uh, you can buy just unfinished jig heads. And just go ahead and get this at Harvard Freight. You know, get you a heat gun or uh, something of that nature that'll put out a lot of heat and just dip you on jig heads and just paint them whatever color you want you know uh, you could just do red you could do brown whatever color fingernail polish it and uh, whatever kind of uh, fish you're fishing for and it works really great remember this is online you can get it in red uh, black uh, white and there's a couple other colors uh, i'll have it in the link in the description to harvard freight for this right here it's like six bucks and something online and you know compared to this two ounces for six to eight, six to nine bucks you can't go wrong with that well guys this is chuck tracking ky we got a lot more jig heads we've got to paint uh don't forget to subscribe to the channel we would uh really appreciate it and to everyone that subscribed so far uh, you guys are awesome thank you all very much leave in the comments if you have any questions on this me or randy be more than happy to answer them for you and until next time We'll see you either in the woods or on the water. Have a great day, guys.